All right, so we are in the other part of my kitchen. We are at my coffee bar. This is my go-to spot every single day, twice a day. <laughs> and um, it has been super hot out. It has been in the 90s, some days hundreds. And so one great delicious coffee drink to make in the summertime is cold brew coffee. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I'm first starting out and I'm roasting my own green coffee beans. This is of course optional. You can use whatever coffee you have on hand, but this will just make the cold brew coffee even better. So right here is my coffee station. We have everything we need right here. And these were the beans that we roasted yesterday. You have to let them sit for a good 12 hours, but they smell so good. And so we are going to put them in my new burr grinder. This is electric burr grinder and the company sent me this. And so we are gonna test it out. Um, a link to this product will be in the description box below. And so we'll just wanna add our coffee beans right into the top. And we're gonna put the top back on. And what I like about this burr grinder is if you can see on the side, let's get a little closer. Since we are making cold brew coffee, um, we are making it in our French press and it's very important to have it coarse. So I'm just gonna change the level of what I want. And so basically what it does is it kind of grinds the beans to whatever, whatever I want. So if I'm making like say espresso, I'd want it on fine but since we are making cold brew coffee, I went on coarse. So I'm gonna put it on the coarsest level that I could have. And if you can see, there's different measurements. So it will only grind as much coffee grinds as we want, so we can put whatever we want. I'm just gonna have it at the five, cause I want to get one cup out of here. And then we just turn it on. you can see there's still more coffee in here. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, this is what it looks like. All right, so I wanna make sure it is one cup of coffee, so I'm just going to um, measure it out, and if it's not, I'll just grind some more. This grinder comes with this cute little thing. This helps clean it, but also it, it helps get out any extra coffee grounds. It's not quite to one cup, so I'm going to add a little bit more. All right, so this is the French press. Um, we usually use it when we're camping or if we're going to Airbnb, um, or if we just want really good coffee. So we have one cup of coffee, ground coffee. And we wanna just put it right in here. This will be nice and strong. If you don't like it as strong, you can always do a half a cup of ground coffee beans. All right, so now we're gonna add some water. You wanna add filtered water or bottled water. And you wanna just fill it up right below this silver mark. All right, right there. And now you'll just want to get a spoon and just kind of push the coffee down into the water. So it is all saturated with the water. And now we're just going to put the top on, but we're not going to push it down. So we're going to leave it up like this. Now we're going to put it in the fridge. I'm just putting it in the fridge and we are going to have it in the fridge for at least overnight. 12 hours to 24 hours, best option would be 18 hours. That's the best results. And so we'll just come back in about 18 hours. All right, it is the next day and the coffee has been in the fridge for 18 hours. And now I kind of need to pick me up. I have been at work all day and I kind of deserve some coffee, right? So let's finish making this up. So what you want to do is just push this down slowly all the way to the bottom. And you can see the coffee separate the liquid from the grounds. So once you plunged your coffee, you'll wanna get a glass 
and fill it with some ice because it's coffee concentrate. So it's super strong. And so this kind of helps dilute it down. Now, if it's too strong for you, you can always add a little water to your cup, um, but really that's what the ice cubes are for. And you could even get like a cup like this. A lot of people love those. I like to be a little more fancy and use these kind of cool cups. And so now we are just gonna pour the coffee into the cup. and leave a little bit of room. Now this is where you wanna add a little bit of sugar for your liking and a little bit of cream. Now this is optional. You can have it black if you prefer or you can even put Baileys in it or a little bit of cream like I like. All right, now I'm gonna stir it. Time to give it a try. Cheers guys. Oh yeah, so good guys, so much flavor just in this cup, wow. I love it, you guys have gotta give it a try. And remember, if you would like to purchase this burnt grinder, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much, bye, and see you in the next video.